All right, guys, this is another really important one. Um, it's about working out every single day, seven days a week. Can you do it? Well, sure. I mean, technically, yeah, you can, your body will be able to lift. Um, but are you going to see results and are you going to get stronger? Absolutely not. Not a chance. Biggest mistake I see, especially a lot of the, um, and power to them. It's a great feeling when you first fall in love with going to the gym. Um, a lot of like the, the new guys who, you know, they start, they're like a year in and they just, they love it so much. They go every single day, right? It's called overtraining. Um, you can go and lift every day, but you, your body will not recover. And this doesn't go for someone like me in my thirties. Like it goes for anyone at any age, you cannot do it. And this is coming from someone who's probably worked out more days out of anyone, maybe in the world. Like I, I'm not kidding you guys. I've, this is 22 years for me. I started lifting when I was just turned 12. Um, like seriously lifting when I turned 12. And literally since then, I've worked out six days a week, every single week. Never taken more than one off day, ever, um, in a row. And that's coming from me. And you need at least one off day, at least, guys. I'd probably see a little bit better results if I took two off days a week. That's, that's like right in the sweet spot, in my opinion. Um, if you want the perfect workout plan, in my opinion, it's three days on, one day off, and then four days on, one day off. Um, I don't know what it is. Just give yourself two off days a week, um, you know, or two off days every nine days. But, you know, I, I like going every six, I go every six days. And personally, I actually go to the gym seven days, but I do uh, my off days. I do active recovery. Um, I do cardio and I just do some like calves and abs, which aren't really going to kill your nervous system. So I count that as an off day. So I go every day because I love it, guys. I love being there. It's just I'm happier there and um you know, but at the same time, don't overtrain. If if your goal is to actually, you know, see results, get bigger, get stronger, then yes, you need off days, guys. And um, but if your goal is just to be able to work out consistently, as mine is, like you know, um, yeah, go six days a week then, and then maybe on your seventh day, still go there, put your headphones in. You know, don't drink a pre-workout. Have like a bang instead, you know, so energy drink that's a little bit lighter than your pre-workout. And then and then still go do your active recovery and shit. You're still there. You still get the same atmosphere, you know, but you're not crushing your immune system. There was one stretch um, when I lived in Texas. I, I was in Houston. I went through a pretty rough breakup uh, before, you know, I got with the girl I'm with now. But I was wrecked. Um, if you guys ever seen those videos, I was I was going through it. I really was. And I said, fuck it. I'm taking out all my anger, all my stress, all my energy. I said, I'm not going out. I don't want to go on Fridays. I don't want to go out on Saturdays. I said, I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to say, I'm going to clear my fucking head. I don't give a fuck what she's doing right now. When we, when we first broke up, you know, a lot of times you, you kind of wonder, oh, is she hanging out with someone else? Or what is she doing on weekends? Fuck that. I said, fuck it. I'm just clearing my head. I'm going, I'm hitting the gym hard three days a week or three hours a day. I went... Guys, I'm not kidding you. I lifted 66 days in a row, heavy lifting, two and a half to three hours every single session. If you want to know how it was, well, some of the craziest workouts of my life. Absolutely, I will say that. After about day seven or eight, with no off days, this is, guys. After like the seventh or eighth day with no off days, I was fucking dead. But I said, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build my character. I'm going to force myself to go. I don't give a shit. And I was, I'm not exaggerating, guys. I was eating about 7,000 calories a day to maintain this. I was eating like a horse. I took a month off from work and I was in between jobs. I accepted another position. I had a full month. I was even going every day when I started my new job, guys. I was still eating as much as I want. Um, and yeah, I, I had some good lifts. I think I hit like a couple PRs, which I've already surpassed now because we're, you know, years later. But to this day, guys, hand on the Bible, to this day, my immune system is still not fully recovered from it. I probably won't be able to get the full peak of my, well, yeah, I will, but it's, it's going to take some time for me to fully recover from it. But yeah, like I, you know, my immune system was cashed. It was almost like my first off day, like that 67th day. I just, it, only reason I took the off that day is because my body was telling me you need to take off right now. Um, so I did. And, uh, oh, my God, it all caught up with me. So I don't ever recommend that. Um, 
Instead, I would say you can go to the gym every day, but use your, you know, work out six of those days and then take the seventh day while you're at the gym. Use it as active recovery. Um, get your body in motion. Do some cardio. Do some, you know, calves, some abs, you know. But don't crush your immune system with some heavy, like, you know, arms, bicep, tricep. Don't do any, like, deadlift squats. Like, just do like, maybe a small body part and don't kill yourself. So that's my spiel. Um, if you want to see maximal results and you want to be a fucking beast at the gym, you cannot go every single day and work out. And I know a lot of you guys in your first year of lifting, like, that's the first thing you want to do. Don't fucking do it. I promise you don't do it, okay? All right, bye-bye.